Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel Admin Panel Development Tutorial for Beginners and this is our part 5. Inside this video session guys, we are going to create our application modules. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about Laravel Admin Panel Development. So far guys, in the process of development, we have completed about Laravel setup as well as in our last video sessions, we have completed our migrations. So if you go to editor, inside database folder, inside database folder, we have a folder called migrations. Inside this migrations folder guys, we have created all the migrations and inside all those migration files, we have created our schema for that table. This is the table structure for faculty type. If I open about the faculties which basically contains all the information of faculty. So this is the table structure. Also while creating all these migrations file we have also migrated to our database. So if you go to browser this is our database. Inside this database guys these are the actually tables that we have created by the help of our migration files. So after creating these tables guys we are on the way to create our application models. So how can we create models? So just go to terminal Inside this terminal, we have some PHP artisan commands. By the help of those commands, actually we can execute and create our application models. So first of all, let's try PHP artisan. We can get all the available commands by the help of our PHP artisan. As we go up, this is my system error, so don't worry about that. If I scroll down, here are multiple options and these are the available commands actually we can execute by the help of PHP partition. So if we want to create our model, so if I scroll, scroll down, so inside this make gallery, as we can see that here we have a command called make model. It means that by using this make model, we can create our model. This is for create a new eloquent model class. So just I'm going to create our application models. So first of all, clear all these things. So the command that we have to use the create model, something called PHP, artisan, make, model, and finally we have to provide the model name. Again, if you want to suppose get the help of our artisan command, so we just type PHP artisan help and let's say that make model. This command will provide about the helping guide map for our creating model. This is for the name, call the name of the class and here is the flag. Inside this flag, we can pass all these parameters. Suppose we are going to attach a migration file for that. So we are actually, we can use these flags according to our need and we can create our associated models. Let's clear all these things. Go to editor. So what basically we want, suppose if we have created any models by using command called php artisan make model and the model name, it will create all the more models inside app folder all the models file actually inside this app folder. So let's create a sample model for our use. So let's say PHP, artisan, make, model, and we have to provide the model name. And model name is something called sample. If I press enter, model created successfully. So just back to editor. Now inside this app folder, inside this app folder, as we can see that here we have created our model called sample. So this is our sample model. We want basically to create all the models inside a folder will be created inside app folder. Let's say that we are going to make a folder called models inside this app. After creating that models folder, we will store all the models inside that folder. Let's create about that folders and models inside this folder. So before creating all these things, let's understand about the naming convention actually Laravel provides about the controller name, about the model name, about the migration name and about table name. So let's say that we are going to create a student. Okay. Basically the controller name should be something called controller. Let's say controller, controller name, something called student controller okay this is our controller name it will be singular if i create suppose model so model name it will be something called student.php this is the file name and basically student is the model this is also singular for the migration let's say that migration file name it will be your 
user defined name okay user defined name but actually I will suggest something called if you want to create the students table so we will have to give the name called TBL create create TBL students this is our migration file syntax and now finally we have called model name so something we have model name this is not table name this is our database table name okay and this is plural so basically for the students we have to create the table called TBL students okay so this is the naming convention guys actually we have to follow while making any Laravel application so we are on the way to create our models so go to terminal inside this terminal create all these things so let's say php artisan make model inside app folder we want to create a models folder inside that models folder actually we will store all of our created models so inside app folder this is our folder name called models inside models folder we want to create our student model first or if you go to editor inside our migrations file just click on database migrations so we have to create all these models so first of all we have to create called faculty type so go to terminal let's say that faculty type this is our model so if I press enter model created successfully back to editor inside this editor we will find a models folder inside app folder this is model folder that we have created by the help of our PHP artisan command and this is something called models before our model name inside this models folder we have created our first model called faculty type so next we have to create about the model something called faculties so go to terminal and let's say that PHP artisan make model we have to provide the models folder name inside this models we have to create our faculty models created successfully clear out all these things next we have to create about about our faculty we have called class sections so this is class sections we have created successfully again we have to create about classes so this is about and I think guys that fast typing speed actually we have done mistakes silly mistakes so if you go to editor what is the mistake that we did mistake is that we have created class sections and with a plural name so we have to delete that and we have to create the singular name okay so first of all if you get rid of all these commands let's clear out I am going to log in with sudo user And let's say permission chmod minus r triple seven now we can access all these files to read and write and delete mode so if you go to editor first of all we have to delete this file I'm going to delete that so class section is no more inside this models folder so let's create about PHP artisan so let's say that PHP artisan make model and inside models folder we want call class section this is what we have created if you go to and now we have called class section okay next we have to create class just press enter model created successfully go to editor we have next call our students okay so let's say that this is not class this is all about for a student model created successfully clear out all these things next we have to create about genders so this is PHP artisan make model inside models folder we have a model called gender press enter created successfully go to editor what we have next called admin and student classes so first of all we have to create gender we have admin created successfully next we have to type the command for our student class so this is a student class so I am pressing enter now we have created all the models by the help of our command and the command says something called PHP artisan make model here we have provided our models folder name this folder will be created inside app folder and here we have to provide our model name so this is model name 
so basically guys we have created all the models for our application so let's get about the permission of all the all these files so chmot triple seven and the for the current folder so we have permitted all the files for our retrite operation and I think that inside class folder class file we have an error error is something like that actually I think that class if you go inside this file class is itself a keyword so we can't rename a file or can't give a file name as a class so we have to change so if I delete this file again go to terminal and let's say that PHP artisan make model and this is something called school class created and model created successfully let give the permission go to terminal sorry go to editor and all we have file created successfully and this is the final class if I open admin.php file first of all we have to provide a parameter protected variable inside this class and something called protected something called table and the table name that actually this model will represent is something if you go to admins this is the table name so if I copy this table name go inside admin model and this model actually represents this TBL admins okay so basically the same procedure we have to follow for all the models that we have created so if I close this file this file also open up our class section so class section basically indicates about the table that is associated with that called student classes so if I copy this table name go to file and let's say that protected table and this is our table name so save this file close this file close this file open our next model called faculty this is related with our faculties so copy this table name go to model and let's say that protected table and this is our table name if I copy this syntax save this file close this file open our next faculty type paste it here the migration file is something called TBL faculty type so if I copy this table name replace with the name and we have done with the faculty type model close this model close all these files next we have to open called gender inside this gender we have to provide for this migration so TBL genders we have to give protected table name and this is our table name okay save this file if I copy this syntax close this file next we have to open our school class so this is I'm going to paste it here this is related with our class sections not this is for the classes so if I copy this class name go to our model and something we have to write here copy that close all these files next we have to open called student so let me paste it here copy this paste it here save this file open up our final and something called student class and I think that student class is related with uh, this file so TBL student classes open up this file and let's see that protected table and table name so finally guys we have associated each created model with each migration file by associating these relationship actually we can use our created models directly by using eloquent relationship to our controllers so from the next video session guys we are going to create our models and application setup so back to slides if you have any doubt in this video session guys then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day